Hi, and welcome to this last video on plotting functions in Python. So this video, we are going to go through two more plots, namely the bar plot and the scatter plot. So before we begin, we need a vector. So let me have my vector, which is essentially going to be some numbers. And let me take the numbers, 5, 1, 12, 0, 3, for instance. So let's say the vector symbolizes how much it rained each day for five days. So the first day it rained five millimeters, second day one millimeter, the third day it rained a lot, so 12 millimeters and so on. So what we want to do is to make a bar plot of your data. So a bar plot takes in vector, which is this one, and some categories. So your categories can also be string, but let us have just the number days, and it's going to be np dot range, and let me start at one, and take the length of the vector, and then add one since the endpoint is not included. So let me also just return here, so that you can see what it is. So here we have the numbers one, two, three, four, and five corresponding to the days one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so now we have our categories, which is the days, and my measurements, which are saved in this vector. So let us make the bar plot. And the command for making a bar plot is just plt.bar. So plt.bar, and then we have our categories, which is number of day and our vector, or our measurement, which is saved in the vector vector. So let me just run this out. And now we have the plot for how much it rained each day. And remember, if you are not in Jupyter, you need plt.show, like this, to get the plot. Additionally, if your code do not run, you probably haven't installed one of the packages so remember that up here in the previous lecture, we installed matplotlib as plt. And in the first lecture, in the section, we imported numpy as np. So let me go down again to my plot. So as we did last time, we can make some x labels and y labels. So let me do that. And the x label is going to be the day and my y label is going to be rain in millimeter. So let me run this cell again. And now you see that you have a um, Y label and an X label. You can also give this plot a title. So the command for giving it the title is just plt.title. And then you can give in your title as a string. So let me just give it the title rain. And again, compile. And now you see that above the graph, you have the title, which is rain, your Y label, and your X label. So this was everything I wanted to say about the bar plot. So let's move on to the scatter plot. So first of all, what is a scatter plot? A scatter plot is just taking in a bunch of coordinates and give you out a dot at each coordinate. So it will be more clear when we actually do a scatter plot. But first of all, we need some coordinates. So let us first give in all the x values. And my x values is going to be 1, 2, 3, 3.5, 5, 6.9, 7, and 9 like this. And let me also just give it back so that we actually have an output here. And my y values corresponding to each x value is going to be 1.5, 2, 2.5, 4, 5, 6, 7.2, 8.5. And again, let me just give out my y values like this. Okay, so if I now make the scatter plot, first of all, I will have a dot at the coordinate 1, 1.5, 1 
Another dot at 2,2, the coordinate 2,2. Another dot at 3,2.5 and so on. So let's try in this new cell and make a scatter plot. And the command for making a scatter plot is scatter. And it takes in the x values and the y values. And let us just try to run this cell. Remember, again, if you do not use Jupyter Notebook, you will need plt.show, but I'm using Jupyter Notebook, so I'm just going to run it. And here we have our scatter plot. So this point here has coordinates 1, 1.5. The coordinates of this one is 2, 2, and so on up here, which is the last coordinate. 9,8.5. This is used a lot if you have some experimental data and you want to make a plot, for instance, to see tendencies, if it's linear, quadratic, or so on. So here you see from the points that it's almost linear. So as an approximation of these points, you could use linear regression or something like that. But more of that later. And again, if you want, you can also have some more data, like the axis, Or you can have the Y label. And finally, if you want, you can have a title, which is going to be my experiment, like this. And if I run this cell again and actually manage to spell title correctly, title, like this, and now run my cell. I have some X label and a Y label and a title. 